Hi everybody and welcome to my build of the Jawa 5020 Pioneer from Resim. That's Resin Improvements. It's a small kit, mostly resin with some PE and a small transfer sheet. The first step is the spoked wheels. These are cut out on a solid base to avoid warping the parts. There are two sets of spokes for each wheel with a resin hub. To give them the correct shape, I form them into a dish with a suitably sized object. Then onto the first of the resin pieces, these are the tyres. It's always best to cut and sand resin wet as it creates a lot of dust and in some cases this dust can be carcinogenic. A small saw however makes a quick job of this. Resin often has a thin skin of flash that is easily removed with a knife if you're careful. Tweezers are essential when working on something this small. Super glue is used to glue it all together. And I think the result looks enough like a spoked wheel in this scale. The front forks are very thin and to my amazement I did not snap them. The 
The mudguard is intended to be fitted before the wheel, but I wanted to make sure that everything was in the correct place, and so I added it afterwards. The engine, resin with two pieces of PE, is easy to fit. The rest of the construction is in the same manner. The drive chain however is a folded piece of photo etch and a PE folding tool is invaluable at this stage. Once it is all together, it is completely overcoated in Vallejo model colour 961 Sky Blue. All the detail painting of course, the spokes, the tyres and seat will be done by brush. But not before a light and blue dry brushing to bring out some of the detail and add a little bit of ageing. This is an older machine after all. I've never done a model quite like this and I quite enjoyed it. kit comes with a front headlight made out of clear resin but being so small I decided it may be easier if I create it from clear fix myself. It's 
some of the transfers were tiny. There was a filler cap, registration plate and two logos. Once on, an overcoat of flat varnish finishes the model. And here it is, the finished scooter. I'm reasonably pleased with the way it's turned out and I'd recommend this small kit if you want to build a tiny scooter yourself, for some reason. Ground vehicles generally look better with some sort of base. I've not made one for this as it is destined to be part of a bigger diorama at a later date. I had fun building this and it's removed some of my hesitant attitude toward resin kits. Please consider subscribing, liking this video and thanks for watching.